Hi everybody, it's me, Jeff, and Lena, Lena, and Jacob, and Jacob, and we decided to read a book together and share it with you because we miss you guys so much. And this book is called, do you guys know what it's called? Frederick. 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 And it's by Leo Leone. And it's a book that we like to read a lot together. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Frederick. This is Frederick here. He's the little mouse holding the flower. Who got to show us food? I will show you after I show them. So, this says, All along the meadow, where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. Do you guys see the stone wall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever seen a stone wall in real life? Mm -hmm. Are there things that live in those stone walls? Mm. Have you ever seen any creatures living in a stone wall? We have one. What creatures have lived in a stone wall that you've seen? Ants. Ants live in there. What else lives in there? Bugs, worms. Worms. And in the summertime, we catch a lot of these that live in the walls. Do you guys remember? Lizards. Lizards. And then there's something else that lives in these walls. Sometimes mice live in the walls. And this says, in that wall, not far from the barn and the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. You guys see the picture here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mice. Yeah, a lot of mice living in that wall. For sure. But the farmers had moved away. And the barn was abandoned and the granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts, and wheat, and straw. They all worked day and night. All except for Frederick. You guys see Frederick here? Yeah. 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 So everybody's working really hard except for Frederick. Frederick? Why don't you work? They asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. Look at all the mice gathering the corn. But here's Frederick saying that he gathers sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he means by that. Maybe the story will tell us. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, And now, Frederick? I gather colors, answered Frederick, simply, for winter is gray. Here they are again, all these mice doing their work. Here's Frederick gathering colors, he says. Interesting, huh? And once Frederick seemed half asleep, Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully. But Frederick said, Oh, no, I'm gathering words and will run out of things to say. Interesting. So here they are. They're still working really hard. Here's Frederick still. Do you guys see those pictures? Mm -hmm. Them working hard with Frederick there, gathering sunlight and colors and words. I wonder what he's doing. Hmm. This says, The winter's days came. And when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. All right. They're getting 
ready for the winter. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. Everybody's getting along, living in the stone wall. They have plenty to eat. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone, and the corn was only a memory. And it was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. Look at that. Everybody seems kind of unhappy there. Kind of silent and unhappy. When, uh, when you guys are hungry and not feeling well, do you talk a lot, or do you kind of go quiet? A little bit of both. Lena, you said you go quiet and you do a little a little talking maybe, Jacob? Yeah. Oh, I skipped a page. Okay, there it is. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Here's all the mice asking Frederick those things that Frederick was collecting, colors and sunlight and words. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel how their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? Huh. I wonder if all of us close our eyes. Let's close our eyes for a second. Everybody close their eyes and try to imagine the sun shining on you. Does it feel a little bit warmer when you imagine that? I think so too. And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles, the red poppies and the yellow wheat and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. Let's try that one too. Everybody close their eyes. And I want you to imagine a field. Keep your eyes closed with green weeds and grass. And then in that green, there's flowers blooming that are red and yellow. Can you imagine it, Lena? Red and yellow and pink and blue. Can you see them when you close your eyes? Can you imagine it? Yeah. And the words, Frederick. Frederick cleared his throat, waited for a moment, and then, as if from a stage, he said, Who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat and winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. And when Frederick had finished, they all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow, and said shyly, I know it. Did you guys like that story? Yeah. 
We'll read another one some other time. Did you like that story? You guys know that story really well, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to say anything before we turn it off? Bye. Bye. We'll see you soon.